I wrote down so many notes on this song coming in at number 29, down from 22. I don't even know where to start. I really don't. Uh, I've, I've been through two takes, and <laughs> I've just railroaded. <laughs> Squashed. How you doing, Mr. DJ? We're assuming countdown my fantasy playlist. March 18th, 1983. We got the Pretenders, a standard by them, back on the chain gang. Remember their first hit record? It was Brass in Pocket back in the spring and summer of 1980. I remember putting that at number one. Number one on my fancy playlist at the time. Back in the summer of 1980, although it just barely cracked the top 30. If it made it that far up here in the States, you might remember another song by them called Stop Your Sobbing. And uh, that was, I believe, back in the early 80s by the Pretenders. And now we got back on the, My City Was Gone. Remember that one? That was off the same album. Uh, Chrissy Hines was uh, singing about her hometown of Akron, Akron, Ohio. A lot of changes since she had been to London and then formed the Pretenders and came back to Akron. And uh, that was a brilliant record, very powerful record. This was a powerful record, too. This song started out about Ray Davies of the Kings. They were a couple. They had a child. But they never really got legally married. She later married the lead singer of The Simple Minds, Jim Kerr. And uh, she found a picture of, of Ray Davies in her billfold, in her purse. And that's what sort of inspired this song. Sort of got this song going. But the song evolved as a tribute to a band member. His name was uh, James Honeyman Scott. And uh, he died of a drug overdose in 1982. He died of a heroin overdose a few days after another band member, Pete Farden. He was fired from the band both in 1982. Farden died of a drug overdose 10 months after he was let go from the Pretenders. And uh, he and Chrissy Hines, they were lovers. Farden and Chrissy Hines were lovers. When she until she fired him, and that must have took that must have been a very hard decision to fire somebody that you you know got an affair with. It had to been very hard. I don't think I'd want to be a fly on that wall during that conversation. But this other guy who died, James Honeyman Scott, uh, this song is about him. It's sort of a tribute about him, and uh, it's one of their biggest hits. Is there anything else I need to mention? I know there's a couple of other things about Chrissy Hines. She 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 she, she was a freshman at Kent State when those four students were killed or when when the National Guard cut loose on them in spring of nineteen seventy. This was after Nixon had invaded Cambodia. She protested. And uh, after afterwards she just she left and never went back. Went to London, England. Went to England in 1973. Worked a variety of jobs, including a music journalist, and she formed the Pretenders later on in the 70s. Also, I got on my notes here that Jules Shear played on this record. He either played on this record or he played on this album. Jules Shear, you might not have heard of him. He had a minor hit in 1985. The, the, the name of it doesn't come to me right offhand, but he wrote a couple of big hits. Oh, God, remember All Through the Night by Cindy Lauper? He wrote it. And uh, I always forget the name of this record by the Bangles. It was, it was between Manic Monday and Walk, like Egyptian, and Walk Like an Egyptian. It was If She Knew What She Wants. That was back around the spring of 19, summer of 1986 by the Bangles. And just that one just barely made top 40 for them by the Bangles. But Jill Shear, he wrote that. All right. Well, we got the Pretenders. They're rolling. Well, they're rolling down. Actually, my fantasy playlist. I'm sure I had them up in the top 10. At number 29, fantasy playlist, March 18, 1983.